The conflict between Ukraine and Russia has been ongoing now for several years, with the Donetsk and Luhansk regions at the center of the fighting. The conflict began when separatists backed by Russia seized control of parts of the Donbas region in 2014. However, the situation escalated dramatically in February 2022, when Russian forces launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The aim of the invasion was to capture the Donbas region, including the cities of Donetsk and Luhansk, and potentially even the capital city of Kiev. The conflict has resulted in tens of thousands of casualties on both sides, and has been marked by devastating artillery barrages, tank battles, and urban warfare. One city that has become a crucial battleground in the conflict is Bakhmut, located in the eastern Donetsk region. Russian forces have been trying to capture the city for months as it represents a gateway to other cities in the region, including Slovyansk and Kramatorsk. Capturing Bakhmut would be an important stepping stone in Russia's push to seize Donetsk and Luhansk by the spring. The battle for Bakhmut has been brutal, with both sides dug in and engaged in a long and bloody battle of attrition. The city has been the site of some of the deadliest fighting in the conflict, with hundreds of casualties per day. Despite pouring troops and resources into the city, Russian forces have been unable to advance beyond the urban outskirts or disrupt the crucial ground lines supplying Ukrainian forces in the city. Ukrainian officials believe that Russian forces may have lost momentum in the city, potentially paving the way for a Ukrainian counteroffensive along the eastern battlefronts as winter ends. However, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has warned that without a faster supply of arms, the war could last for years. He has called on Europe to increase and speed up its supply of weapons, impose additional sanctions on Russia, and provide long-range missiles, ammunition, and modern aircraft. In response, leaders at an EU summit approved a plan to send one million artillery shells to Ukraine over the next year, and Britain pledged to supply armor-piercing munitions containing depleted uranium to help destroy Russian tanks. Slovakia has also delivered the first four MiG-29 jets it pledged to Ukraine, with the rest to be delivered in the coming weeks. A slowdown by Russia in Bakhmut could mean that it is diverting its troops and resources to other areas, with reports suggesting that Russian troops have made gains further north this month, partially regaining control over the approaches to the town of Kremlin. Ukrainian military analyst Ole Zhidonov suggested that Russia is shifting its efforts south to the town of Avajivka. The conflict shows no signs of abating, with both sides dug in and prepared for a long and bloody war of attrition. The battle for Bakhmut, although more symbolic than strategic, represents a crucial point of conflict between Ukraine and Russia, and could have significant implications for the course of the conflict in the region. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel for more such videos.